about plain donuts. Making plain donuts with making the um, chocolate donuts. One thing about donuts you should understand is that there are tricks to it. There's when you turn it, there's when you don't turn it. There's how you cut it, there's how you let it rest to get the perfect fluffy donuts. Start from your mixing down to because when you mix, you need to get that that folding part which shows that yes, this donut is set to make use of it. Down to your set leaving to the improver. If you don't have an, an improver, you can leave it in a hot place, let it proof before it starts frying. Make sure that your um, your the heat of the fire is not too hot, not too cold. So that when you just drop it, then it starts frying from there. So right about now we'll start the flour. This is a, this is, a, this is um, the ingredient for our donuts. So we'll have the flour. Have the powder here. Lots of people don't really use powder. People just basically rest on the flour. Some people still use powder. That's the sugar. This is the yeast and salt. And this is the butter.
Now for every for every one kg dough, for every one kg dough of flour, you can use maybe if you want to make use of it, 60 gram of salt of um, powder milk, uh, 100 gram of uh, sugar, you can use uh, 20 gram of yeast or use 20 gram of salt, depending on however you want to. But, but the perfect uh, donut mix you must have this uh, sugary taste. And all of which must have um, at least if you want to put egg, some for fattening, and some put some people put on egg, yeah. some put yeah. So now this is a uh, this is what the perfect dough looks like. So once you beat it. And set it into that particular shape of which you want to make. Thank you. Now you take a rolling pin. Flattening your dough, you have to be very careful. You don't just flat your dough and cut it immediately because the, the size at which you cut it will shrink. So you, you, you free your dough and let it set for a while and uh, like uh, five to six minutes. When it's set, take the particular kind of cutter that you want. So this one is a ring and this one is a circle. So you just cut your dough. Now this particular one I'm doing now is uh, I'm setting it for the improver. So once you finish improving, I get it into the frying. The best part of the donuts is the frying part. That's the best part of the donuts. Because no matter how good your donut mixture is and everything is, the frying also matters a lot because this is the frying that will bring up that nice and fluffy part of the donuts. This is it. And I will take it into the program and when it's rice, I will show you how it came out and then we'll fry. Great starting you know. It's already. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, right about now, this is what the perfect weekly donut looks like. You have to cut it, you have to put it, you have to shape it. And this is when it comes out of the program. Your oil has to be in a perfect state. And you have to have your utensils ready for you to fry. When you get a donut, drop it gently into the fire. Putting a donut into the fire matters a lot because it gives you a particular time on the, on the, when to how to set it so that your donut does not come out soaked, doesn't come out too much. This particular point, this donut is very key. A lot of people turn their donut three times, four times, and by that way, getting oil to soak into the donut. You have to watch the donut very well. It has when when it shows that this is this at its peak, it has this tear. It gets from in between or from the from around of it. A perfect donut has got to have. The perfect donut has got to have two lines on the both, a line, round line on the both side. Now, our donut is ready to turn. The donut does not have to spend too much uh, uh, too much time on the fire. If it if it rises properly, it 
it, if it rises properly, you don't have to spend too much time. Immediately you put it in, it just comes out perfectly. That's it. Spend so much time with the fire, it tends to soak in oil. And when it soaks in oil, when you touch your donut, it doesn't, it's not fluffy on the inside. Once one part of the donut is set, you just turn it for the other part and it gives it that perfect line. And get a thank you. And get on the inside. Okay. And the donut is set. frying the donuts. This is what the perfect donut should look like. It has a white line on the sides and so when I opened it, how fluffy it was without the penetration of the oil from the both sides. Now to make the chocolate donut, you can do your design anyhow. But some people they take um, the nozzle and the piping back and just cross it anyhow you want to do. So we'll just make a normal perfect um, chocolate design. You dip it inside just bring it from the top. You let the, the chocolate rest a little bit and you turn. Drop your donuts. And I'll just have this um, coloring drop. Just use it to color the donut on the side. And now we'll drop the design on the side. This is what the plain on the chocolate donut looks like. The white line on the sides. It's very important, those lines are designed. 